We are back with you with our local experts talking about ways to get help with your bills. Remember, you can text any questions that you have to the bottom of the screen. The number is 336-379-5775. All right, Tyra, let's start with you again because we do have a text question that says, is Greensboro Urban Ministry or other ministries allowed to help us if we have already set up a payment arrangement with one of the city entities? Yes, we will contact one of the utility companies when you have made a payment arrangement. And in some cases, we're able to take care of the entire payment arrangement for you. Okay, but the first and foremost, they need to contact their utility company first. Is that right? Before they contact you for help? Yes. Okay. Yes. And if they if they um, are fearful um, or uncomfortable with contacting the utility company themselves, they can come and we will sit down with them and uh, make that connection, help them make that connection. All right. Well, speaking of that, Mike, maybe you can just walk us through it about when someone calls and they are behind on their bills. What's the first thing that they need to say to get this plan in, in motion? Just, just call and say, I have an outstanding uh, water bill, water sewer bill, and uh, how can I go about setting up the, a repayment plan, a promise to pay? And that just opens up the door for us to get delve into the, the details. Uh, as we mentioned, some people need may need a little bit more time than others, but it really just starts that conversation about, I just need some assistance, uh, some time being able to repay pay my, um, my bill. And the great thing about it is, is if they get on a promise to pay, just, just like we heard Gail say, they incur no additional late fees and they will not have to worry or be concerned about being cut off. As long as they're under that plan and they're honoring the plan, they are safe. So um, someone is saying, what about when some agency tells you they can't help you because you got help years ago? Oh, for, for us, that's not the case. Like I said, we handle it. This is this is a unique, of course, this pandemic in and of itself. So for us, each person that calls, we deal with their particular situation. So we don't look at the past as far as what what uh, has happened. We just look at their current bill and what they owe and how we can help them. And Tyra, what would you say about that? Because I do know that there are some, you know, there's some boundaries there of things of how much agencies can help. Yes, we will also look at that situation differently. We have a different pot of funds. So um, just like Mr. Brochure said, we would look at that on a whole different level um, and, and forget about the things that's, that the assistance that we provided in the past. Okay, and I want to make it clear, we're getting a few text messages like, do you have to be in Guilford County? We're talking about Greensboro water utilities, and we're talking about Winston-Salem for Scythe County utilities. Those utilities, their water, their sewer, their garbage, right all together there, Gail? Uh, this is just regarding water, sewer, and the stormwater uh, division also bills on the, the bill that we send out. This doesn't have anything to do with uh, sanitation or trash collection. That's part of taxes. These are uh, our, de our department is entirely funded by user fees. We are not funded by taxes. So we rely on our users, our customers who use that water to pay for the water that they use. So that's that's why this is so critical for everyone. Uh, you know, we know everyone is, is, is struggling, but if you're not struggling, this is the time to step up, get that past due pill, bill paid. And if, if you can give us that call to get on the payment arrangements for nine months, that deadline is tomorrow. That deadline is tomorrow, tomorrow, October the 30th. As long as you call them and you say, I'm making a promise to pay and you set up some kind of payment plan, then you can forego the late fees and you can forego the disconnection already starting to take place, which is really important because you don't want to be in that uh, point. Hey, Tyra, I don't know if you know this. They're asking about Duke um, Energy. What kind of payment plan things are they doing? I think their moratorium is still on for disconnections. Is that correct? No, they have lifted the moratorium okay. and they have started issuing disconnect notices. And um, they would need to first reach out to Duke Energy, to Piedmont Natural Gas, um, and try and set up a payment arrangement. They are really going way out to work with people. All right, and so I think the, the thing is, people sometimes are like, well, if I just ignore it, it will go away, but it is going to continue to be on their radar. Right. And it's best if you go ahead and reach out as soon as you get, if, if you're past due, um, go ahead and reach out. Even if you're past due, don't wait for the disconnect. Go ahead and reach out.
All right. Once it gets to the disconnect, then it gets into like a really stressful time of trying to really move things quickly when now is the time to be able to do that. I want to be able to put up the phone numbers for both Winston-Salem, Forsyth County and Greensboro Utilities so that you have them. Folks in the back, whichever one you have first, just put that up and let's make sure that um, everyone at home is able to get that. Okay, so Winston-Salem, Forsyth County, the first thing you want to do is call CityLink and that is 311. If you're not in the city limits, you're going to call this 336 number. That's that's the 727-8000. That is the way to start up your payment plan. When it comes to Guilford County, you need to call that 373-2489 number. You see that right there at the top of that graphic. And again, both of these calls need to be made by that October 30th time so that there are no late fees that are incurred there. Okay, thank you so much for the three of you for making sure that everybody knows how those payment plans work. If you missed any of this conversation, you just want to watch it again or make sure we're going to have all of this uh, posted on our YouTube page. We also want you to know that you can find all of this information in the two wants to know section.